What's going on guys, this is Monsters and this is another Furtury Shop tutorial. So today I'm showing you how to make a simple YouTube banner with just a bit of text, some gradient, stuff like that. If you don't know what it is, I'm going to show you all in this video. So you're going to start with the layout. Now, if you don't know how to get this or you haven't got it, I'll put a link in the description so you can go and download it. Now these rulers, you do not want to move these. This shows where, basically where the view is going to be. So this box here, is your main one this is what your computer view is so if I go over here this this right here my banner this bit is the middle so what you want to do is you want to create a box so I'm gonna make this black and white and I'm just gonna make a really simple box I make mine just a little wider than the actual thing so there's no like white lines anywhere Right, what I need is, I need a center, so control R gets your rulers out and control, I don't even know what, what that is, semicolon I think, control semicolon brings them back forward. So you wanna get one and put it, I normally have, it'll just click to the middle, and then that one will click to the middle, and then you can drag this, oh, sorry there. Right, that was pretty good. So now you've got this black box, so this is the banner line that we're working with now really you want to keep it within this one and this one but YouTube just change its width so keep in mind that it might go wider sometimes like at the moment I did mine in the, this is the center where that one is and that one is so they have made it a little wider like to about here but what we're gonna start off is we're gonna make a background that looks good so we're gonna take the color overlay off we're gonna get rid of that in a minute we're going to create a new layer and we're going to grab a brush so we're going to go with this one and it wants to be a lot bigger we want it to be about that size so when it's that we're going to change the white one i want kind of a dark red we're going to bring these rulers back up and you're going to hold alt by holding alt you can see where the center is so it's there do not click otherwise it'll make the color fill black so we're going to let go of alt and we're going to just press once right now once we've done that we have our background color so you can go ahead and bring your bar back and then we've got that now you can add effects onto the bar but we're just keeping it nice and simple so at the moment we're going to do that now what we want is we want a gradient so we're going to go to my gfx packs and we want a texture so you can download these in the gfx pack just have a look around there will be some available for download. I kind of like this back backdrop. So we're gonna make that really big, really big, really big, really big. About there, we're gonna center it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold Alt and that. That'll crop it to that. So then what we're gonna do is, because that's a bit too big, you wanna drop the opacity. Now you can do this with any texture, just follow what I'm doing, but just use a different texture. You wanna make it so it's just a little bit visible. So with mine, I'll go 50, yours might be a bit lower, but just do it to your own preference. Um, I'm just gonna say that if you don't wanna do your own banner, I will do a banner for you. I'm doing them for free. So basically just go to my website on my contact page. I am doing loads of YouTube banners at the moment, absolute loads, and I'm doing them all for free. So anyway, to carry on with this, now we've got this texture, we wanna create an out, we wanna create a stroke. Now a stroke is a little black line, because on the outside, if you can see if I widen that, I don't. I want it round about five, and we'll keep it like that. Right, now we've done that, we wanna create text. So we're gonna make this black and white again, and I'm gonna text, I don't want that to be in it. This little arrow shows that it's inside the layer, you can hold, alt. actually that looks pretty cool. <laughs> over like everything hmm, that looks quite cool I know we're going to keep it like this at the moment and right so we're going to drag a text box and for me I'm going to type monsters but for any of you guys you can type your own name obviously you want to size it up now for this you want your rulers and for my text do I want it I want it round about 150 now you want to get it in the center kind of if you're just doing a text on its own and you can drag it whereabouts you want it. So I quite like that. What I'm gonna do then is I wanna make the, I'm gonna keep the text white and I'm gonna double click on my layer to get the layer styles up. You can also right click blending options, does it by the same thing. 
Um, right, what I'm going to add is I'm going to add a stroke. So I want a stroke on three. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see it much clearer. So that looks cool, right? Stroke, we want to make this any bigger, do we? Right, we'll keep it on three. Um, I'm going to add a gradient overlay, but I'm going to knock it to 25. I'm going to add a drop shadow. I'm going to change the blend mode to normal, and we can change the distance. So I want it coming out the other side. Like, actually, do I? Now I want it bang on. Right, I'll change that back to 30. I quite like where that was. I'm going to drop the opacity down a little bit to 75 change the spread to five keep all that so now we've got our main text now i'm going to add underneath like i do on all mine i want to change this down to about 70 and i want to change the text to something thin so do now nah, we don't want that we want something like the default font so maybe arial black something like that to download fonts i have done a video so go and check that video out it's pretty old but i did do a video on how to do it how to get like more fonts than your default ones of the dawn clan now that i've got that i'm going to make this slightly smaller about 36 right and what i'm going to do is i'm going to hover over this one because our clan is red i want a red kind of dawn right then what we do is i like this lay style that we've done with the monsters so we go over that and we right click and we click copy layer style that means it copies all the effects and we can paste it onto any other layer so once we've done that obviously because the text is smaller you're going to want to change the stroke down so i'll leave that at one the gradient overlay i'm going to drop to 15 because it's a much smaller font and the drop shadow, you're going to want to change the distance. Um, right, we'll keep it at, we'll put it to 7. Now that it's there, I want it bang above the middle. So we're going to control T, brings this box up, and you're going to get it so it's online. And you can use your arrows or you can drag it about. I quite like that there. So now we have this. Right, I want a box along the bottom. So I'm going to create a box and i'm gonna fill it with black and you want no stroke on because if you add a stroke it adds this box around it like wait if the points isn't like that it adds this box and you don't want it so you make sure the line the red line through it means that there isn't one there so we're gonna make this slightly smaller and we're gonna bring his rules up again with control semicolon i think it is it's the one next to the l key and we're gonna make this so it's across the bottom right now that's in the middle and that's across the bottom i'm gonna make sure that it's just coming over my stroke so right that's just right what we want to do now wait i've got an idea if i go right in and right that one's just bang on now what we can do is we can change the opacity to round about i say 75 shall we now it will go 60 does that look all right all right we'll, we'll keep it at 50 for mine then you want to click off when you're done right now what i want is i want another bar but a really 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 thin one change the fill to should i keep it as red yeah i'm gonna keep it as red for this one Right, you want to do the bang same again. You want to just get it in the center. And for this one now, I want it bang above my opac above the bar at the bottom that we lowered the opacity on. So I want it so it's about mid, which is about there. I'm going to make it smaller than that. Maybe, right, you're going to have to zoom in up close so you can... I want it to go down about half. So we'll put it there, yeah, that was cool. Right, now we've got that. 
now we have our bar going across the bottom now I want a stroke on this but just a little stroke so we'll go one and we're going to lower the opacity just a little bit to let it blend in with the rest so we're going to put 75 on that one right now we have this bar along the bottom now what we're going to do is you can put stuff on this like you know most people have have this for sponsors or the graphic designer uses it to put their logo to say it's by or just mottos things like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some stuff in so what i'm going to put in is i'm going to go to my i'm going to go to my logos that i have some logos and i'm going to drag the scruff gaming onto it and i'm going to drag the control freak to it right now we have those we'll start off with scruff gaming we're going to get this and we're going to make this really really small so it goes all the way down to about that okay then because obviously that doesn't look that good because it's black on kind of a dark so we want to double click or right click blending options i want to color overlay it with white because that's just going to make it stand out so i quite like that that looks pretty cool then we're going to get the control freak now for this one it's kind of hard because it's got it's not a png which means it's not a transparent background it's got this white so we're going to use this tool which is a magic wand so what you do is it'll be on that normally you right click magic wand and you're just going to tap the white now what this does is it gets rid of all the white because mine's there i need to rasterize this basically means any image well it makes any layer an image and i want to get rid of these bits as well and that should be done if i click delete right then we're going to get rid of these little excess bits right now we have this so I'm going to do the same again, I'm going to right click, color overlay, I'm going to make it white. Now when we, we want it to be the same size as the scuff gaming, so you're going to grab your rulers and you're going to get them to round about where your scuff gaming on was, or any logo really that you can use, or you know anything that applies to, and you want to make your control freak round about the same size so that looks near enough close actually so if i just make this slightly smaller i think that matches and i'm going to spread these apart a little bit so spread them apart about that far then i'm going to hold shift and i can select as many layers i want a control freak and scuff gaming now selected both i can go control t and it and i can drag these two into the middle so once these are in the middle these are going to match both bottoms so if i get rid of the rulers with control semicolon and to zoom in and out by the way you do control and the plus and minus keys is how you zoom in and out so now we've got this now this looks pretty cool so far and i'm going to want to add something underneath so for mine i'm going to put we do videos every day we do videos oh not like that there videos every day right now i've got this i'm going to make it slightly bigger than the leader of the dawn clan but i think will i actually now have it that big so yet again i'm going to get it in the middle everything does want to be centered really otherwise it's just going to look slightly off and it'll not look as appealing as it could do if it was all looking straight bang on the middle so where's my monsters i'm gonna drag that there so i can get both of them and i can move them up right now that's there i'm gonna get the we do videos every day and i copied the lay style earlier so i can paste the lay style but i'm gonna change this to the red color to a dark wait what was the color of that one I'm going to change this in a minute. I've just got to change the gradient on it because I don't like that. Make it 15. The drop shadow is just too much. All right, that looks about right. We'll move it to 7. The stroke, we want 2. I don't want it as big or shall we? We'll make it bold so it stands out. 
and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these two, I'm going to make them white and I'm going to make these two white as well so it makes the videos a bit stand out. Now that's a bit dark, I want a light red I'm trying to keep the colours matching, that's why I'm clicking the background because I can pick up other colours that I've used like white or black, get a bit darker, so far you can use your colours but I want to. you want to kind of keep the same colours near about that's your colour that you used before and the colour new is above it you can use this to slide around to find different colours or you can use, if you've already picked a colour, you just click and it'll colour fill it so I quite like that, so we've got that one and we're going to make sure it's in the middle, which it is. And there we go. So that's a really quick banner that you can use, or you can change anything. So you could add images. You can really do anything, but you want to stay within these margins. Now, when I upload that, it will be kind of small. So if it does end up being a bit small and you do want to change it, you want to grab every layer but the background and the rectangle one. So that's all of these. And I click Control T and I can drag all of them bigger if I want. But that's going to change the bar. So I don't want to move the bar. So where's that this button here makes it visible or not so what we're going to do is we're going to get all these and we're going to drag them below all the other layers so if we get these three there we go on I can make this bigger bring up my rulers again bring it centered and then I can put it about there now that makes it so it looks a lot bigger and it's nearly coming to your margin so it'll all look cool you can still mess around with each individual layer to make sure it just looks great I might also tilt tilt that a bit and I'll put it there that looks good right so I hope you like this video if you did leave a like don't forget to comment your questions if you've got any controls that you need know and just comment it and I'll comment back I go on YouTube every day so I will comment within like hopefully a couple of hours of you putting it up but yeah, just comment me any questions you have about Photoshop and go and check out my other Photoshop tutorials. So, see you in a bit.